What's up, everybody? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Um, I just got back from the Bahamas, Caribbean. Uh, we went everywhere. Left Miami Beach, went to uh, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Colombia, Cartagena, uh, Panama, Colon, Panama, Puerto Limon, uh, Costa Rica. And then Honduras, and then back to the Bahamas, up an island in the Bahamas, uh, which is Embassy Davina's personal island. It's beautiful. Um, and I was saying during that video, I was going to talk about opening your third eye, your pineal gland. So uh, I had some experiences that were very bad during that trip. Some were good, some were bad. Of all spectrums, all colors, of emotional experiences. And, um, I had this fucking, I mean, I've been, you know, I've been doing drugs my whole life, but, uh, started experimenting with the mushrooms. And every time I do them, um, I can hear, see, smell, touch, and taste more as I do them. And what I found out is that the mushrooms, the psychedelic ones, they repair the neurons and synapses in your brain, which allow you to use more of your brain which makes you actually psychic and telepathic. And so as I've been doing this, I can start uh, like tasting shit that I never tasted before. Like I can get all the, like beer, it tastes like bleh, you know? It's delicious now. I love drinking beer more than ever now. It tastes great. It's not like gasoline or piss anymore. Like I can taste the hoppies and shit. I can taste like the, the, the wheat or the essence of the beer. I can break down every fucking molecule within my fucking taste buds now. I can see, you know, your eyes only allow you to see what your brain is capable of. So you see colors based on what your mental capabilities are. <clears throat> some of y'all have some very low IQs, let's just admit it. Some of you never went to college. Let's just be real, okay? I have a very high IQ. When I took the ASVAB for the military test, I got a 97. They told me I could be whatever the fuck I want to be. 97 on the ASVAB, okay? My SAT scores were in the thousands. I was the top of my class throughout my entire fucking life. Even in college, I was going to medical school to be a doctor. My, my professor was like automatically like, if you need a letter of recommendation for the PA program to go to medical school, I got you. I have one waiting for you. I know that's what you're going to go for. I was like, yeah. I ended up going to prison for selling drugs. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I have authority complexes. I have uh, an intuitive empath personality. I like having fun. I love living dangerously. I like taking risks. I like to gamble. Play stock market shit. Um... I have a, I, I love having fun. I'm the life of the party everywhere I go. My whole town, when I was, you know, living my life, my best life, I lived, I, everyone loved me, you know what I'm saying? Good people. I like to have fun. Most people are logical and they like security and safety. They want to be safe. They think they're, that my lifestyle makes them anxious. My lifestyle makes them, uh, uh <laughs> they, <laughs> They get They would have anxiety attacks living around me, you know. Most people can't live the way I do. I like I like danger. I like excitement. I like taking chances and risks. Anyways, so I make my lifestyle the way I I live and act and behave makes people worried around me sometimes. But uh, I live for the excitement. I like having fun. Anyway. I feel like people are very narrow-minded, like, because security and safety is an illusion. Like, you could die and live your whole life perfectly, and somebody can fucking be drunk and whew, hit your ass in the side. You get robbed at the store, somebody will shoot you randomly. Look at all these fucking mass murder attacks at these fucking Walmarts. Like, these are good people. They didn't sell drugs like I did. They didn't fucking drive 140 miles all the way down to Miami Beach while their fucking fiancé and son are kicking and screaming in the background, please slow down. But I do shit like that. Um, 
You're trying to kill us, David. You're trying to kill us. I know what I'm doing. I do this shit every day. Oh, this is how I live. What? Oh. Damn, I gotta take this call. Hold on. So, uh, <laughs> like I was saying, um, my lifestyle makes people nervous sometimes. So, uh, if you like safety and shit, um, and security, please stay the way, fuck away from me. Um, and I apologize, um, Onyx and Kale and Jamari, I love you so much and I would never put your life in danger. I do this shit every day. But I, I do it so good and I do it so well. And ain't nobody ever gonna do it like me. Can't nobody do it like me. And I would never put your life in danger. And you mean the world to me, and I love you so much. So, uh, please, 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 I will protect your life with my fucking heart. Um, but yeah, we had, uh, some uh, conversations on the way home where, you know, they were afraid of my driving. And, uh, I was upset with theirs because I felt that they were driving like old people. Fuck. Slow as hell. And my ass hurt. I want to take a shit and go home and have a fucking drink. It's 14 fucking hours in a Toyota fucking Corolla. Like, I had fucking luggage in my lap. I'm fucking 238, 40 pounds now. Probably more because of this trip. Like, <clears throat> muscle and just heavy. Dense, solid. And, uh, it was physically, uh, it, it, it was not comfortable. It wasn't comfortable. 14 hours driving. So anyways, I was just ready to fucking cry. I was ready to fucking kill someone at that point. Just to go home. Just to get off. Just to get... I was so fucking... Oh Jesus help me. Anyway. But so, so I was a being an asshole and a dick. And, um, you know, I apologize and stuff, but, uh, <clears throat> my whole point is that, uh, it was a terrible, it was a terrible experience. And I told my girl I'd never take another trip with her again. Um, even though she paid for it and all this shit, <clears throat> I was just being ungrateful and, uh, being a dick. Selfish, selfish, okay? Thinking about myself and my own needs in that moment. And, uh, <clears throat> the whole point of this video is to show you how to open up your third eye, your pineal gland. So, basically, all you gotta do is take the mushrooms, the psychedelic mushrooms, uh, Enigma, Halo Gates, Golden Teacher, probably some of the best ones. <sighs> Enigma and Halo Gate, that's probably, <sighs> those are the best. Uh, Golden Teachers are real easy to grow. But what they do is they repair the neurons and synapses in your brain. They, they repair your brain, which allows you to use more than 10% of your brain. You experience life. What you hear, see, smell, touch, and taste is depending on the, what your brain tells you that you are here, see, smelling, and touching, and tasting. Right? So you can only experience those sensory perceptions based on how much of your brain you can use. When you use more than 10% of your brain, you can hear, see, smell, touch, and taste even more. So you, when you use more than 10% of your brain, you can taste everything. Like, I love food now. Like, in a different way. Appreciation. I love. I love the way the world looks now. I love the way people look now. Like, I love everything. Everything is beautiful now. Because I see colors that I've never seen before and they're more vibrant and rich and uh, I can see the texture and the color. Like I can see different spectrums of light I've never seen before in my life before. I never knew this world was so beautiful. And it's a gift from God. And uh, you can't see it because you don't love it anymore. You hate it. Why? Because... Your parents probably beat the love out of you as a child. We went through years of slavery. 
work, 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 and hardship, and disease, and suffering, and nobody wants to fucking be here and work every day. Like, people, ever since birth, you're told, get up, go to school, go to work, do the dishes, do, do the laundry, cut the grass, cut the wood. Fuck, this is slavery. This is not love. This is slavery. And so we lost the love and the ability to love. Because instead of using our brains, we were using our hands to work and our bodies to do the slave work. So you have to use your brain and your heart in order to see the truth, which is God is in everything and in everyone. What does the Bible say? Who created you? God gave you life. You are God's children. How did he do that? In the beginning, there was the word of God. Then there was light. He said, let there be light. Then he created the moon, stars, heavens, galaxies, the water, the oceans, the mountains, the earth. Right? With the word of God. What is that? Is a sound. Is a frequency. What is light? It's a frequency. They're all numbers. Right? So, 300, 200 frequency is dark blue. And then as you work into 528, that's God frequency, that's yellow green. When you get to 700, 600, 800, that's red, purple, violet. So with my voice, when I'm on the mushrooms, and I'm in my God state, and I turn into the light. Because when you do, when you feel that you love everything, when you love every sound, when you love everything, what you hear, see, smell, touch, and taste, you have to love everything. Only the mushrooms can make you do it because... Right now, in a lower vibrational, a low mental state, you cannot appreciate everything. You can't see, hear, see, smell, touch, and everything. It, it's like, blah, bland. It's bland. It's boring. It tastes like shit. The food tastes like shit. Everything tastes like shit. Everybody's ugly. You hate life. You hate life. I don't want to see this shit. I don't want to wake up anymore. I don't want to fucking work anymore. I'm tired of shit. Just fucking kill me now. And so, uh, you lose your appreciation and your love for life. Because hmm? you work all the time. Fuck this shit. And so we lost, we, we forgot how to love. That's what happens. After years of slavery, after our parents beat it out of us as children, you know, they try not to do it anymore. My children can probably see the light that I'm talking about. Because I never hurt them. And all I did was I tried to love them. But we still put these conditional loves on our children. You got to do good in school. I'm not going to do this for you unless... I'm not going to buy you the nice clothes that you want or whatever you want or video game unless you do good in school. Right? So we put these... Condi this love is conditional. Right? It's not true love. You got to work for it. You still got to slave, break your back for it. Right? You got to do something for me so I do something for you. That's not love. That is conditional love. That's not true love. That's you need unconditional love. God loves you unconditionally. No matter what. No matter what. So, uh, like I said, I've been experimenting and stuff. And uh, when I feel the unconditional love, like no matter what, and I forgive myself for all of my addictions and problems and mistakes, and I go back and I repent and I say I'm sorry for all of that shit. And I want to change my ways. And uh, I will choose love from now on. And I'm so sorry that, you know, I argued and I, and I chose these material things before the people that were really important in my life. Um, it just like, uh, it opens your eye. It opens up the third eye, the pineal gland, which is, uh, there's a light that is coming from God. God is the light. The universe, right? And it's coming up from like the earth. And it'll come up through you. And it hits your heart. And it reflects off your heart. And it hits your pineal gland. And then this uh, halo would come out of my head. And I would turn into an angel. Uh, I literally, I could see it. I could literally see this halo over my head. It, sometimes, it, sometimes it fills the whole room. It's so it big. It depends on how much, the, how powerful the love in your heart is. And when I do that, 
I can then control my physical surroundings with the words of my mouth, the vowels. So the louder I get, the lower my frequency and the higher it is. A like that. And if I get higher, the colors will become brighter or different. It'll turn like, you know what I'm saying? The frequency. So if I can control the physical objects in my surroundings with the sound of my voice, which is a frequency, and if light and color is a frequency, which it is, which science proves is correct. If I can make the physical objects turn to light in different colors with frequency and sound, that means what? That they are also light. They are also light. That means what? Everything's light. Everything is light. And you are light too. And it comes up from God. And you're blocking it with the food, the poison that he put inside you. Uh, the mushrooms are the only thing that you need to do in order to, the psychedelic mushrooms. Take about three grams. At least three fucking grams to see this shit. You have to take three grams minimum. Put them in honey. And then eat them with the honey. Because otherwise it tastes like shit. Um, but the I usually go like 24 hours without eating. Because a lot of, a lot of times uh, after you take the mushrooms. And you become God or whatever. You see the light. If you start eating food. It blocks the light. The food goes in here. And it comes down. And it stops the light from coming up. And hitting your heart. So you need to stop eating the poisonous food that they give you. The processed food. Now if you eat like turmeric. Or food that is electric. Like Dr. CB said. Look at Dr. CB's cell food list. Electric food. He says the food is made from God. God created this food. It's electric. It's light. Which repairs your body. That's how he cured cancer, herpes, and AIDS. With electric food. It's the same frequency as God, as your body. Anything that is man-made is not light. It's, it's not man. It's the devil's work. It's the devil's work. So, uh, <sighs> just do the fucking mushrooms. That's it. Um, I would say this too. So when you become the light, right, um, there were certain poems and stuff that I, uh, I could see the past and the future and my past lives too. Like my grandmother was full blooded, redheaded Irish. And, uh, I saw this like alcoholic redheaded fighters and Irish fighters and stuff. And they came and beat my ass and taught me a lesson and stuff like that from <laughs> the fucking past. My ancestors came and needed to wake up. Uh, they were trying to guide me. You have, your ancestors are trying to guide you and help you. You can't hear what they're saying. They're trying to get you on the right path. And they worked their whole lives as slaves and worked so hard just to give you life. And we're making the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. And they are so tired of coming back and being reborn and breaking their backs again. And so am I. And we can return to our God state, which is the fourth dimensional. And you can return from a fourth dimensional, which is light, back into a three dimensional, which is physical. With the word of God. It's a magic spell. It's a poem. And so that's why the Bible was created in the scripture. It was written. And it was supposed to be a collection of poems, of magic spells, the songs of angels. Alleluia. You know, all that shit. Amen. And um, it's supposed to be a collection of poems, which were actually a map back to uh, God. So you could become your fourth dimensional godly state again by singing and reading and speaking the word of God with your vowels. With the, and no other species can do this but us with the throat chakra. That's why we are designed to be, that's why we're 98% water. We are electrical and conductors. What does electricity do? It conducts light. Power. <clears throat> How do you create light? With electricity. That's what we do. 
You were designed that way. God made you that way. Because you're God's children. You are God. So, uh, that's why the Egyptians wore all the fucking gold. Because it's an electrical conductor. That's how they moved the fucking rocks in the pyramids. Because they would use frequencies with their voice. And when you can alter the frequency of your surroundings, it becomes light. And it becomes massless. And ha light has no mass. You can move anything. You can move mountains with your voice. It says in the Bible. It says it in the Bible. You can move mountains. And you literally can. With the sound of your voice. But you can't do it unless you use more than 10% of your brain. You have to love first. You got to use your heart. Not your eyes and your mind. Use your heart. And we forgot how to love. You have to first love everything. Everything. What you hear, see, smells, and touch. What you hear, see, smells, and touch, and taste. You have to love all that. And the only thing that can make me feel that way is the mushrooms and my fucking life partner, my wife, and some cocaine. <laughs> if I if I could use one or combine those things, that's when I can start seeing the light. And my heart will open and the light comes out. And I turn into an angel. Literally. I become light. And my true form is like a green yellow dragon. It's like a flying serpent. And it looks like a dragon. But I have seen myself with no fucking physical body. And I look like a fucking dragon. That's what I look like. Like an old, smart, wise, intelligent dragon with this fucking voice. And he speaks to me like uh, my son and all this shit. I love you, my son. But uh, it's like God. It's God. It's our God state. God state. And so, uh, <clears throat> the ones that gave us life supposedly were reptilians. They created us to be slaves. But that was like Lucifer. Because he lost the war with God. And he came here with his followers. The angels. And he promised them riches and all that. But, when they got here, he fooled them. He said, you got to work. You got to do this in order to get it. So in order to get the riches, you got to go work. You got to get the gold out of the mountains. So go get the gold. Go dig. Go look for it. This is back-breaking work. That's how he convinced us to come here. And then, they tra and then he trapped us here. And we couldn't go back because we couldn't it's feel the love anymore. Because nobody, nobody wanted to do this shit. That's why Moses came to free the people from the pharaohs. That's why Jesus came to teach and spread the word of God, to show and teach people how to love again. De Jesus turned water into wine. He walked on water because how did he do that? With the word of God, with the light. He became massless by using the word of his voice, the sound of his voice. He turned water into wine by how? How? Because he used the word of his voice. He, he said a prayer. And so. <clears throat> that's why they killed him. That's why he was crucified. It wasn't because God gave his only son. No. People want to keep you as slaves. He was trying to free humanity. He was trying to show people how to love again. He was trying to set God's people free. And show you the way. Show you how to love again. And what happened? Somebody gave some money, and then he turned against him. Pontius, uh, was it? Judas turned against him for the money. So he chose money over the love of God. <clears throat> Which is what? Just same thing in Matrix. Right? Neo, and then you got the ball-headed dude, uh, Cy Cypher, that turned against him for war. The promise of endless gold and riches. And so this is what happens all the time, you know? It's a continual fucking cycle. And uh, they didn't crucify Jesus. I mean, they, they murdered, they killed him because he was, they didn't want him to teach other people how to become God. He was telling the truth. He was showing them how to love again. And they didn't want that. Because when you do, you become God and you become psychic. And telepathic. And you can hear people's thoughts. I can move shit in my fucking house with my mind. When I'm in the God state. 
And I, I can hear people's voices and their thoughts telepathically. I can go places. I can astral project now with my mind. When I'm in the God state, when I become light. And I can only do that with the mushroom. Sometimes a little cocaine helps. Too much cocaine is real bad, though. It'll make you go crazy. Um, and then, you know, my, my life partner, my love, my, my wife. And my children, too. <clears throat> but all of my life, you know, I was taught to be ashamed of doing drugs. And, uh, you know, I love you, but you have to go cut the grass or get a job or go to school, do good in school in order for me to really love you, you know? So we're taught this fake love all our lives, you know? It's not real love. It's, it's slavery. It's manipulation. That's what it is. It's manipulation. And so you are taught, ever since you're a child, you've been manipulated into believing that I love you, but you got to go to school. You got to get up on time. You got to wake up. You got to go to get a job and get a good job and get a good education and do good in school and do good in sports and God, no, whatever else they ask you, you know, you got to suck this dick or, you know, whatever. Fucking go cut the grass. Chop some wood. Do the dishes. Clean the house. Be a fucking slave. Work, work, work. Right? And so, uh, and when you become intelligent, really intelligent, you will not allow other people to tell you what to do. Because what that does, when you allow others to boss you around, it... It says that I don't have a brain and I need someone else to think for me because I can't think for myself because I'm a dumb animal. So I need someone else to tell me what to do because I don't know what to do on my own. So you are implying that I'm a stupid fucking animal by telling me what to do. And if I follow, then I am. That's why I have an authority complex. And if you tell me what to do, you have to ask me nicely. Because otherwise, I will fucking cuss you out. Fuck you. T oh, you gonna tell me what to do? Watch me. Watch, see if I do it. You can suck my dick. That's what you can do. You want me to do what? Okay, suck my dick first, bitch. Bitch, suck my dick first. And then let me. And then I'll think about doing what you want. Because I am in control. I am God. Not you, motherfucker. You got to have that that, that that mental kind of power. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, like I said, all of my life, fake love. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I get in these all these relationships. I've been with like over 700, 800 women. And I was selling drugs. And I was having sex for like four, five, six, seven. My best number was seven in one day. I fucked seven bitches in one day. Um... And, but I would, you know, get in these relationships and they were like meaningless and it was all based on drugs and money. And so, you know, and some of them, some of the good girls I meet, well, they'd be like, well, you know, you're cute, but you're a drug addict, you know. So, bye. And so they would just leave, you know. And I would get judged all the time and ashamed of who I am or what I like. And uh, it's all fake love. It's all fake love. And nobody ever loved me or stuck around until I met my life partner, Onyx, Dr. Flowers. And uh, it's like, no matter what I did, man, she would never fucking leave me. And no matter how much of an asshole I was, she never left my side. Everyone else did. Everyone else did. <coughs> and so she showed me true love. And after... I realized that like this light just kept getting brighter and brighter and brighter in my heart and I was uh, I could see the truth now and when I did it I saw this uh, holy war right I always thought I always saw it in my dreams like we were gonna have to fight this fucking battle and I was gonna link up with all these like alpha males that were in my life and we we're gonna have to fucking fight uh or like freedom or to set us free or to take over this planet and it's not it was all in my mind and all I had to do 
will show them with my word and wake them up, you know, with the word of God. And so as this happened, I telepathically connected to them and I, they heard my words and I was able to sing to them and say the spell to show them that I was changing physical things back into light. And it's all been a prison in our minds. And as soon as I said that, I was like, look, guys, just wake up. Just wake up. It's all a dream. You know what I mean? Look, watch this. Watch how I changed this physical thing back into light. And if I can do that, that means what? It's not really not there. It doesn't exist. If it's if I can turn that back into light, if I can change the color of that object and make it back turn into a piece of light, and it looks like a dream, it looks like it's a ghost. I can walk right through it. That's what it looks like when I when I do that, when I'm in my God state. If I can do that, what does that prove? It's not there. It doesn't exist. It's all light. Everything and, the, and, and everything around it is the same way. It's all light. What does that mean? It's not. It doesn't exist. It's an illusion. It's all an illusion. It's not real. What you're seeing is a hologram. A hologram is light. And it's coming from here. <laughs> You guys are seeing holograms that look so real. And uh, that's what reality is. It's a hologram. And uh, <clears throat> your mind is making it real. Because you are being limited into the use of your brain. So when you use more than 10% of your brain, you will see the reality, which is... Uh, the spoon does is not there. It does not exist. What did that little boy say in the Matrix? How do you know it's real? How do you bend the spoon? It's not trying to bend the spoon with your mind, but realizing that it's not even there. It does not exist. That's how that little boy bent the spoon with his mind. That's how I am able to change my reality with my mind. I can see that it's light, it's not real. And when I do that, I'm in my God state. And I can literally change the physical things in my surrounding back into light. I can walk through them if I want to. I can change their physical structure. I can like bend them if I want to, the table. <clears throat> So, uh, I need to, if I make a video, right, and you try to see this video, you can't, you can't even be able to see with the video. You got to do this on your own. You got to do this on your own. You got to see it for yourself. You got to take the mushrooms. And if you use, if you're able to use the sound of your voice to change the colors in your surroundings and the physical composition of material solids, that scientifically proves that it's not real. It's light. It's a hologram. It's a frequency. And what does that make you the controller of that? Therefore, you are God. God created everything. If you can create that and change it, you are God. How did God do it? With the word. With the light. He said, let there be light. He did it with the word. And so when I was having this experience, me and my wife, we were saying, I was trying to teach my children. I said, you know, me and your mom, boy, we've been doing this shit forever. We got bored and your mom, she likes puzzles. She likes games. So we made a game. And it's this three-dimensional world. And what it is, is <clears throat> we create these things with our voices, with a frequency. And so we have to say this certain spell. Like, oh, we got to figure it out with our voice. And then we can turn it into a physical. And then we would like to turn it back into light. And so we would do these songs and these poems and these spells with our words and go change it to physical and back into light and that's how we 
we're passing time because we've been here forever. God is infinite. We have no beginning or ending. Time was created by us. When we created the physical, that's when the time started. And so, I was trying to explain to my kids that, you know, we've been here forever. And, and it, it, like, eons doing this. Living lifetimes over and over and over. And we create all these things. These, this reality this, is a destiny. And so you'll meet these people in life. And you'll meet them over and over. And they'll look different every lifetime. <coughs> And you will make the same decisions over and over and over. And you'll keep choosing the material things until you wake up and you understand that God is more important. God is in everything. That motherfucker that's standing right in front of you right now, you will never see them again. Your wife, your child, your loved one, your co-worker, the fucking stranger on the street. You'll never see them again. Uh, you only got one chance sometimes. In life. You got one fucking chance. Okay? And, uh... I hope and pray that you make the right decision. Because, uh... <clears throat> you know, I've been making wrong decisions all my fucking life. All my life. And I've been, like, <laughs> trying to get this money. And, uh, putting money before my, uh, my family and my loved ones. And, uh, uh, like, you know, I had this thing where, man, we, heard, we argued over a fucking heater, man. And I was like, I don't even fucking use it. And after I had this experience, the first thing I did the next day is I took her ass to that goddamn heater. Baby, here, you can have it. I don't want it. It's yours. I love you so much. Fuck that heater. You are more important to me than anything in this world. Because I see the light now. Because I see the fucking light now. And, uh... <sighs> I paid a fucking rent and everything Like I was like Baby what you need I got you <clears throat> Cause uh When I was God In my God state You know I could telepathically Connect with her and my children But after that When I was returning back to a uh, Physical solid I literally could hear the floor Like I would hear the floor go <coughs> And like uh, I could feel like the hair, like this energy coming up my leg, and the hair on my legs would like literally stand up, like a straight, like a needle, and shit was sticking to my leg, like the paper and shit in the room would like come to me like a magnet, and I could feel like the room closing in on me, you know what I'm saying, I could hear the room going like that, and I would pick up shit and I could hear it collapsing, and I felt like I was, like light is like, the molecules are spread out, and it's solid. It's more dense, and the molecules come together. So I could feel the shit, like, coming, like, closing in. I was turning back into a solid. But when that was happening, I was, like, going from heaven back to hell. And uh, heaven was just, you know, being with all my loved ones. And hell was the same thing without my loved ones. So basically, I was in the same world, had all my shit. I had everything, but I lost my connection with everyone. I was there by myself. Therefore, all my shit was junk. What's money if you don't... You can't buy nothing. Who are you going to buy it from? There's nobody here. What's jewelry and clothes? It doesn't matter if you're fucking butt-ass naked. Nobody's going to fucking see you. Nobody can fucking see you. You're there by your fucking self. What good is, where are you going to go? Who are you going to go see with a car? You got all this shit for what? You worked your whole fucking life for what? For nothing. For nothing. Because it doesn't mean shit without nobody else. <sighs> it's nothing without God. It's nothing without God. If you, we need each other. We need each other. We are more important than anything else in this world. It's junk if we don't have each other. It's useless if we don't have each other. It's all fucking junk. It's, it's useless. It's stupid, you... Dumb fucking creatures are down here working your whole life, breaking your backs for what? To get all this fucking shit you don't... That's useless. It's useless junk. You can't take it to the grave. You can't fuck it. I'm sorry, I don't mean to insult anyone. I said that shit to my fucking brothers the other day. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't mean to insult anyone. You guys have been manipulated and lied to. 
and they use school, right? They teach you ever since birth, get up, go to school, go to work. You got to do good in school or else we are going to spank you or no dinner, no clothes, no toys, no love. You're going to hate it here. You're going to hate it here. That's not love. So we forgot how to love and use our third eye. It closes the third eye. In order to open it, you have to feel the love of God. You have to love everything. You can't do that here in the physical world without the fucking mushrooms. You got to have some fucking drugs to fucking appreciate shit now. We have lost our way. We forgot who we are. We forgot where we came from. We forgot that we are gods. They convinced you in school that with Darwinism that you are fucking monkeys and you came from monkeys. You're a fucking slave now. And it's all a slave of your mind though. But you're a slave literally now. And they want to keep you here. And they will. The longer you stay here, the more you go crazy and the more you lose your connection with God. So, to wrap this up, if you're having a bad trip, right, and the room's closing in on you and you see that, that vortex, right? So at the end of my trips, right, when I go from light and God back into a solid state, right? And the trip's about to come to an end. What will help is uh, just eat some food to cut off the light real quick. Uh, Drink some soda, some shit. Uh, <clears throat> alcohol is real good. Alcohol is real good. Go to sleep. Or get the fuck out of that room. Because if you feel like there's a vortex closing in on you and you can literally see the room closing in on you, you're about to lose your mind and go crazy. But if you need to get the fuck out of there, get in your car and drive somewhere. Close by, go to the store, go to your fucking mom or your friend's house, go to a friend's house. You need to get to near someone else that, uh, you know, that loves you. Be around someone you love. Uh, or if you've never done mushrooms before, just make sure you got someone there that loves you <clears throat> that can say, Hey man, you're just tripping, man. You're just having a bad trip. <sighs> but if, you know, you really do see your reality turning back into light and you can control it with your words. Therefore, science says that that is a uh, frequency. And if you can change the solid back into light with your voice, that means that solid is not a solid. It is also light. It's a frequency. If you can change the color of it, colors are frequency, frequencies. Therefore, it's a light. It's a light. And they teach you that your DNA in science is a genetic template. No, it is only half the truth. They teach you half truths. DNA is a double-stranded helix. It's a coil. And an alternator, that's how you make power. That's how you turn on the lights in your car. You use a coil of wire which conducts the electricity. Your DNA is a photon amplifier. Your soul is a light. And the DNA is the, your, your, your physical appearance is the expression of the DNA. The light coming through your DNA and it comes up. So let's say you take uh, water or sand or uh, any uh, metal uh, dust particles. You put them on a glass and you sh uh, start uh, sending a frequency through it. 528, 728, 741, whatever. It will literally start changing the snow or the water, or the sand into a beautiful shape, right? Because it's uh, the expression of that frequency. Watch, look it up on YouTube. Look up uh, Nikola Tesla, 369, Everything is Alive, OMG, Explained. Look up that video. Then after that, uh, uh, that's called uh, the channel is called Video Advice. Look at his videos about the Matrix, and about the pineal gland and the chakras. And you'll see everything that I'm saying. These Harvard professors are now saying the same shit. I'm not making this shit up. <sighs> They're saying the exact same thing that I'm saying. It's called evolution of your soul. We are now coming back to the full cycle. <clears throat> and we're starting to wake up. And become more spiritual beings. And we, if we got a fucking, there are people trying to control us. And that's why they call them the Illuminati. What does Illuminati mean? The enlightened ones. 
The Enlightened Ones. That's why they chose that fucking name. They think that they're the smartest motherfuckers on this planet because they know the truth. Where they came from. That every, they created all this shit with light. But they fooled you into staying here. Because now you think that these material things are more important than God. And then the person that's standing right in front of you. The whole three-dimensional world that you see in front of you is your mirror. It's your reflection. That's why in Buddhism, you stand in front of the altar and it's supposed to be a mirror, a reflection. And you're chanting to yourself for the help of the universe to help you to see. That's what Buddhism is about. That's why Buddhism is the oldest, greatest religion. It doesn't teach you to worship anybody. They use religion. Religion, the Bible was supposed to be a collection of poems that you sing to change physical things back to light. For you to return and remember who you are so you could turn things back to light so you could become God again. It's supposed to be a map. They took it and they used it against you. Now it's used to control you. They use the Bible to teach you shame. You're a sinner. You're bad. You need to pray. Seek forgiveness. Pray to God. You're going to hell. You're a sinner. You're bad. Feel shame, 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 judgment, judgment, judgment. It's all hypocrisy. They do the same shit and they make you feel bad about it. Huh? It's not love. You will never see the truth if you can't feel the love, if you can't love yourself. And they teach you self-hate with religion. And they use religion to imprison your mind. They turned it against you. Because what? Who wrote the book? They rewrote the book. The Illuminati rewrote the book. The people with the money in power. They also <clears throat> sent you to school and they used to teach religion and Darwinism. They took over the schools. So they rewrote all the books in the schools. They took out the real stuff and they put the bullshit in the books. So they teach you uh, fake history, like Christopher Columbus discovered America. He did not discover America. There were giants and Nephilim in America. The Egyptians were here first. Go to uh, this, this YouTube channel called Y Files. Look up this video called The Egyptians in North America. Look up this video called Giants in North America by this channel called Y Files. The Smithsonian Museum, which is controlled by the Donators, which are the Illuminati, the rich people, when they found the bones of over 50,000 giants in North America, they sent them to the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian got rid of them. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he does not exist. God? Then you got Lucifer. Lucifer is who? The light bringer. The light bringer. Lucifer translates into light bringer. He fought a war with God. He tried to convince the angels that he could give them better. He brought the light from God down here. Turned it into physical matter. When we got here. By gravity, we were trapped here. He created us to be slaves. Mind the gold. It's all in the Bible, man. It's all in the Bible. And, uh... <clears throat> it's so much shit, man, I gotta tell you. If you read, if you look at those videos, though, and you see that the... How did... If the Egyptians were here first in North America, why did they want to convince us that Christopher Columbus was here first? There was nobody here. So we could start all over. So everything that happened since Christopher Columbus was, boom, there was slavery. And then boom, boom. But if the Egyptians were here first, where did they go? What happened to them? What happened to them? What happened to the giants? So what happened was, <clears throat> it was a giant flood. Because they came from Nibiru, plus space, planet X is what NASA calls it. So every 36,000, 6,000, or I think it's 12,000 years, one of those. It's like a 369 number, 36912. Nibiru comes around. <sighs> That's where the reptilians, Anunnaki, are. When they come here, it causes a pole shift. Flips the planet upside down. 
causes a flood and then freezes everything and everyone dies. The people that survive go in spaceships or underground. So all the reptilians and the rich people will go underground. They've been using our tax money to build over 100,000 underground bases now. There are cities under the fucking ground that you have no idea that they're there. And they've been using your fucking money to do it. And when this world goes to shit, you're going to die. They're going to leave you here. Hmm? That's how much you mean to them. They've been using you this whole time. You fucking moron. You slave. You poor idiot. And um, <clears throat> unless we get rid of these people come together and start choosing love instead of allowing them to send us to war so that we can kill people for money. Because that's what they did with the 9-11 attack, right? Uh, Saddam Hussein, he didn't have no weapons of mass destruction. It was for the oil. They sent us over there to take his oil. Afghanistan too. <sighs> they didn't ever get Osama bin Laden over there. They sent us there for the oil. They want all the oil. Why are we in uh, Gaza Strip now? Uh, Israel. Because on one side of uh, Israel is Egypt. They got that Red Sea Canal. It's $27 billion a year trade route. They want to nuke and blow up the Gaza Strip and make another canal on the other side of Israel so they can get some of that $27 billion. It's going to be $10 billion the first year at least. The first year. The USA has already invested, and Halliburton is supposed to go over there and build the canal, the trade ports. It's a done deal. They've invested in it already. That's why they keep going on the news, and the CIA runs the media now, and they try to convince people, they tell the news what to say. Well, we're behind you 100% Israel. No, bitch. Fuck you. Ain't nobody going to go over there to fight no motherfucker. Kill all them goddamn innocent Palestinians. The fuck they got to do with us? Hamas over there, as long as they come over here, like, that's their problem. That's their problem. Not mine. Not my kid's problem. And not my friend's problem either. Go fight. You want them fucking dead? Go kill them yourself, you old rich white fucking prick. Go kill them yourself. I ain't killing nobody for you. So you can get rich. And I can get shot and get my legs blown off? What are you fucking people, stupid? Why do you keep fucking doing this shit for them? Wake up. Wake up, they're using you. You are being used and played. So they can get rich and convince you <clears throat> with a little bit of money that you can have the <sighs> same thing too, a good life. No, no. No, they're going to tax you more. You're going to cut off your social security. That's what they cut off health care. That's, that's what they're doing right now. Give it to the rich. Give it back to themselves. That's what Donald Trump did. He gave the richest people a fucking tax break. He gave your fucking money to them. To feed the rich people. That's what you're working for now. The rich people. You fucking slave. That's what you are. But you are also God's children. And you have been manipulated and played your entire life. And it's not your fault. That you have been tricked and deceived and manipulated. And I'm here to tell you the truth. It's time to wake up. And start playing this game different. Now that you know the rules. It's not about money. It's not about material things. They're useless. You're going to die anyway. You can't take them with you. You need to start making decisions. Based on love. So the person in front of you. Is always more important. Everything, any or nothing, all this material shit don't compare to nothing else. It's all useless junk. And there's nothing word wrong with having it or working for it. Just don't put it before. Don't make it the most important thing in your life. Choose God first. Choose love first. Choose your mother. Choose your father. Choose your son or your daughter. Choose your neighbor. Choose your stranger. Anything but these goddamn that material, useless, illusions, junk. Because anything that you have can be taken away anytime, any place, any day. Your money, your gun, your car, your clothes, you can lose it all. Just like that. And it's useless. But you can get it all again. <sighs> but you can get it all. It's simple. With the sound of your fucking voice. Once you become your God state. You won't have to work again. 
you won't have to take a shower. You won't. You can go from your physical body back into light. You won't have to brush your teeth, work out, or exercise. You can look like whatever the fuck you want to when you are in your God state. You will end, and it's all it, it's slavery is up in your mind. But like I said, Neo, like Morpheus said, you can't break a mind. You know, sometimes it gets you. Well, some people are narrow-minded. They don't want to hear this shit. They won't accept it. Do the fucking mushrooms. Do your own experiments like I did. And you see if I'm fucking lying or not, if I'm telling the truth. If you can fucking literally change shit with the sound of your voice, which is the frequency, you can change the sound and the, the composition of molecules and, and physical matter with your voice, that means it's not real. It's light. It's a hologram. When you do that, you will be in your God state. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying is real. And then you will wake up from the prison of your mind. And you need to start making decisions. After that, once you see that I'm telling the truth, none of this shit matters. It's, it's not real. It's a hologram. No, it doesn't matter. God is all around you. You will see that God is in everything. He's in that motherfucker that's standing right in front of you. And you've been making the wrong decisions your whole life and choosing everything else besides them. You got life fucked up, baby. You got life all wrong. You've been playing the game all wrong. You've been playing the game backwards. You're choosing money and land and clothes and cars and jewelry and all this shimmers and shines over what's really most important in life. You forgot where you came from. You forgot who you are, baby. You forgot how to love. You need to start using your hearts and not your eyes and your minds. Wake up, baby. Wake up. It's all a fucking dream. It's all a fuck. It's all a fucking hologram. You just too dumb to see it right now. You too dumb to see it. Use the mushrooms. Do some spiritual work. Fix the neuron synapses in your mind. Read some fucking books. Increase your IQ. <laughs> like. Right now, to me, I think every I'm surrounded by a bunch of fucking stupid fucking creatures. Morons. Stupid animals. Surrounded by idiots. That's how I feel. Because I try to teach people and they refuse to see it. They're, not, they're so narrow and closed-minded. And see, I'm the most open-minded person you will ever meet. Like, I will try anything one time. You know, give it a shot. People don't even want to hear this shit. They want their safety. They work so hard for their pension fund and their house and their cars. And I don't want to lose it all. It's going to turn into light. Motherfucker, you could have 10 of them if you want. With the, with the work. People just don't. They're scared. They're scared. Don't be afraid, baby. You'll die anyway. What's scary is coming back and doing this shit over and over and over again. I'm fucking tired of working, man. I'm just waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all, man. I just feel like I'm surrounded by slow people sometimes. <sighs> but I love you all. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> just remember, man, there's nothing in this world that compares to the love of God. And that motherfucker standing right in front of you. And God is all around you all the time. And he's been trying to show you. And he loves you so much. And he's waiting on you, baby. He's waiting on you. This whole time he's been there. This whole time. We we waiting on you, baby. Come come on, come play with us. Come back to heaven. <laughs> we having a great time over here. In the light. In the light of the Lord. Like this shit is. <sighs> Watch. Take the fucking mushrooms, man. I'm telling you though, if you have bad a bad heart. <laughs> You go and you go get what you deserve. It's a spiritual shit. Some spiritual shit. It's gonna be a spiritual war, probably. I think that's coming. But uh, God bless you all. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. All that good shit.